On the show today, we're once again joined by Rob Driscoll, the bow tie balloon guy, and Rob shows us how to make these five different types of flowers. And guess what? I have a go at making one as well. Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we've got somebody back that's been here before. It is the one and only bow tie balloon guy that I managed to say properly. Indeed. Rob Driscoll. Hello, Rob. Hello, Greg. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Yeah, very good. Thank you. It's been a while. Still rocking the bow tie? Still rocking the bow tie, as I can. Yeah. Fantastic. We've got hedgehogs today. Hedgehogs today, yeah. yeah. Very, very nice. And you've got a shirt that is... This is... I wore this specifically for this... Did you? This, this uh, episode, so... Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, I wonder what we're going to do. Anyway, but before we get on to that, what have you been up to? I've not seen you for ages. What have you been doing? What's, what's... Keeping busy, yeah. Don't yeah. say keeping busy. You've got to tell me what you're doing keeping busy. Oh, uh, lots, of, lots of work. I'm doing a lot for BAPU at the moment, which okay. is nice. Yeah. Nice few events for them. Uh, you went to Spring Fair, didn't you? Spring Fair was awesome. I had such a great time yeah. uh, seeing lots of people and building things. So that was nice. Yeah, Gosh was amazing. I know. That was great. I was so glad that, that we were able to film that. This what a highlight to the end of my year. Yeah. It's like, it's like that is, was brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. 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 So, and uh, uh, yeah, um, working hard at the moment on a little project I'm doing. Oh, we'll get well. to that. So I'm sure. We'll get to that at yeah. some point. But, um, stay yeah, tuned. Exciting. Very exciting. exciting yeah. Very exciting. We'll keep, we'll yeah. keep them going. They'll, they, that means they'll stay and watch them. Will they? Yeah. Do it the end. Oh, I'm giving secrets away. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. You're gonna you're gonna do something today, aren't you? Yes. Hopefully. Yes, um, we are. What, 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 uh, what do you mean we are? We are. No, yeah, you well, are. you're gonna you help are. me a little bit. No. no. Yes. No, yeah. no, 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 no. We need to get oh, you more involved. No. We need to get you more involved. Oh, so, so many people have tried, so just many a people have just failed. Just a small thing. Small thing. Is that all right? It'll I'll give it, I'll give you some thought. We'll okay. see when it comes okay. to it, depending on how difficult it looks. Uh, we're gonna do some flowers. All right. You know flowers, you probably noticed the spring fair. Yep. Very on vogue. Flowers and trees flowers. seem to be everywhere. And they are, yeah. Oh, the shirt. The flower. shirt. Uh, flowers. Is it? Oh, yeah, uh, hedgehogs on the bow tie, which is the newest I can get to, to um, nature. But you know. Okay. So, All right. So, okay. so, so yeah, um, we're going to do some flowers, okay. and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you five different ones. Oh, that's all right. Five for the price of one, everybody. Yeah. Five for the price of one. Yeah, we're going to start with a really basic one. Okay. And then we'll work up to, to uh, some more complicated ones. Okay. All right. The really basic one. Yep. If I'm going to do anything, yep. I'll yep. consider it. I'll consider it. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Right. Wait, when you see how easy it is, I'll get you to do it. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's okay. great. Uh, before before we do anything, though, I want to show you how I make a stem. Okay. okay. So I, I tend to use a, a standard stem for all my flowers. They're all exactly the same as stems. And then you just pop the, um, the, the whatever flower on top and you've got it. Uh, is that right? So I'll that show that, that you, sounds I'll, like a plan. I'll show you the stem. Um, now, I tend to use 160s for my stem. I like the, the, the fact that uh, the size difference, stems are usually small. So I just go for the smallest balloon I can. Yeah. So 160 in whatever green uh, we, we're going to use. And uh, you can do it with a 260. I, I just like the fact that they're smaller. It's, not, it's almost something that's just it's a bit more precise. It yes, just, delicate. Just, delicate, that's the delicate. word I was looking for, that's, delicate. That's the word, delicate, so yeah. So I'm just gonna uh, blow this up. Oh, your trusty pump? My trusty pump, which has been with me for, oh, it's gotta be 15 years now. Wow, that's think. a long-term relationship. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. It's done all right, my, my, my balloon pump. So um, I, I've blown it up about that much, but yeah. it depends on how long you want your flower stem, so. Uh, as to how long you blow up. Starting with the knotty end, I'm just gonna make three small loops. Okay. That's it. Right, so uh, all I do is I fold the balloon over, yep. give it a twist around, yep. and then I take the, the knot yep. there and I just tuck it through. Okay. Then we do it like that. Simple. Simple as that. Second stem, fold it over, twist. Oh, simple. Third, third one, uh, third loop, fold it over. That's it. I, I, I just that's remember. That's the stem. I remember the way you just you roll the balloon. Oh, yeah. Rather than make <laughs> I do. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. great. I love that. It, it, it's a nicer noise as well, rather yeah. than the squeak you get from yeah. from um, from a you know, normal one. If, so, um, if you're not too sure what I'm talking about, everybody, yeah. there was a video that we did with you. I don't yeah, know when, whenever. Yeah. And it was just how you actually roll the balloon, yeah. and it just ease more it, easily. Yeah. just goes it in. It puts less it? pressure on the on the um, on the balloon. I'll, I'll go through it when I do it. Okay. When I right. do the six petal flower. Okay. All right. Sorry. No, I'll, I'll explain then. Uh, so that is. So that, that is, is just them. That is it. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. This can do two things. So uh, in this 
uh, state, it's, it's kind of like you would attach your flower to the top. So yep. it'd be like a rose. Okay. Whereas you can turn it around and you can have the flower on the front. Oh, very so good. it's like a sunflower. Easy. All right. So you've got two options there. So that is as simple as it gets with okay. that. Super. Okay. Now the most basic flower, and you're going to do this. Okay. Most basic flower possible. And uh, people questioned me about this. When I said I was going to teach this, people were like, are you really going to go that basic? Yes. And there's a Good. reason for it. There's Good. A reason for it. Because I am that basic. Because uh, if I get this is quite advanced reason. for me. Whatever yeah. it is you're going to show me is quite advanced. Uh, that's good. It's good. I, I, I like pushing people, so it's it's fine. I'm going to use a three uh, sixty okay. here, or uh, similar size balloon. You can use rounds if you okay. want, but I'm, I always use the ends of three sixties because I've usually got a bag of scraps of these yeah. somewhere, and they're easy to use. Uh, and all I'm going to do, you're going to be amazed at how easy this is. You're, gonna, you're probably be disappointed with, with... I don't know if I'm going to be amazed or, yeah. or, or, or worried. Uh, all, all I do is inflate that, like that. Tie that in a knot. See, that's, that's, you're starting to lose me now. Tie it in a knot. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Do that. And then uh, we will get... I haven't got my scissors. Can I go and get my scissors? Yeah, Sorry. go and get your scissors. Yeah, fantastic. Chop that hose off there. Chop the end off. Okay. That's it. Why are you doing that? It's so simple. They told you, see? That's it. Okay. Now, I know people question, is, is that really it? But my, my thing is, is that if you've got those, a couple of those, in amongst a bunch of other flowers, like if you've made a sunflower and a couple of six petal flowers, mm -hmm. some big, these just add a little bit of variety. Okay. It's the simplest thing ever. They take minutes to make, if that. It's, it's super easy. Okay. And you can just get that variety really quickly yeah, yeah. And, and make make a really nice bouquet. Okay. All right. And I know it's simple. So what kind of flowers is that? Uh, what kind of flowers I is that? always call it, a, it's a bud. It's a bud? It's a bud. That's what I always see it as. It's a kind of bud, like a ro maybe a rose bud or something. Okay. Uh, Let's call it a rose bud. Rose yeah. Bud. yeah. Okay. Simple as anything. And... Uh, people do question me uh, if I get away with this. I do. Why not? Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, when you've mixed it in with a few other flowers, it looks really effective. And we'll find out later on because we're going to make a... I a don't think me up. doing this would add any value. Are you sure? No, I think you can do it. I think you can do it. Go on. You, you, well, you, can, you can use my pump if you want. Why don't you make a six, a, 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 a one out of a five petal, a five inch round, and then, and then, that's, it's easy. You can do it. Go on. So I'm, like, I'm really scared. I'm on, scared. Like, how do I use, even use this? Right, push down. Excellent. Stop that, do. That's lovely. Yeah. Is that too big? No, no. You see, the thing is, you can have any kind. If you've got a few big flowers, then you can have a few bigger ones. Uh, wh what size would you like to make it? Does that? Does that? Do you feel right with that size? I, f I feel great. Then go for that size. Tie that in a knot. This is the hard part. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. remember how to tie knots. We all tie knots in oh, different ways. Look see, that. look at Did that. It? Tie the knot and everything. Easy. Would you like to have a go at making the stem? No. Go on. You said the easy bit. Go I've on. done the easy bit. This isn't, go on, have a go, have a go, go on. Oh, no, no, actually, now my pump's a bit weird with this, so I'll, I'll put it off for you. Because, okay. right. because, only because it's hard to get my 160s on my pump. Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a thing I've learned, okay. and when people use my pump, they okay. can't use it. So this is the this is first time I'm actually doing something on BMTV. So what, what am I doing? I'm Why just... don't I make it for you at, at the, the same, same time? time. Okay, I'll make right. it with so you at the same time. And then we can one use this to for one. Flower. Look at this. Uh, Education. So I hold it in my in my left hand. And You're right-handed. Uh, I am right-handed. Yes. So am I. That's good. Yeah. Yes. I assumed you were, but okay. I shouldn't. Should have never And no, I shouldn't have done. Uh, it's bad of me. Okay. Uh, you're going to pinch the knot and fold it down like that. Like and that. then you can hold it in in your right hand. Like that. uh, that's it. Yeah. And all you're going to do is you're going to grab the loop and twist it. It'll burst. It won't. I promise you, it won't. I've done it. Right, done it. Don't let go of the knot. I'm not letting go of the knot because I remember you. Pull it out. Your knot's bigger and than mine now. Pack it through. It doesn't matter. I've took it great. all the way through. Yep, yeah, all the way through. That's it. You can let it go now. You sure? Yep. Yeah. Now, the great thing is, is that we, we may have had different size loops and things. It doesn't matter. It's nature. Nature's never perfect. That's true. Right, so we can, we can go. If you end up with a smaller one or a bigger one, okay. it's not a problem. Absolutely. Right, now what I do is uh, I just hold up this and I just fold it down like that. Like that. Like that, that's it. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to grab everything here. Grab everything. And twist it. Twist it. Oh, that and, way, yes, like it. That. Twist it and towards you, that's it. And then, this is that thing again, I'm going to say. Grab the, grab the, uh, this balloon and roll it. 
and naturally... Am I, am I not just undoing roll it, it? Roll it towards you, roll it towards oh, you, that's it. And then you can kind of guide... If you guide it around, you can you can guide it around there. Like, you see, oh, you see that? You yeah, see that? Yeah, when you start to feel how it works, yeah, you can yeah. see. And that, that's the bit that puts less pressure okay. on the balloon. Right. And uh, it's a very nice way of tightening your balloon up and okay. getting it all secured in there. But last there's, one. There's three petals. Okay. There are three I'm petals, yeah. You're going to fold it over. Same as last before. Like that? Is that like right? That? Yeah, that's it. Okay. And put, fold it all in. Oh, you lost me there. I'm going to do it again. There we go. So, you so it's going in that. between those two petals. Yeah. yeah. Grab all that yeah. and then fold. And then it's be brave, be brave. Fold like that. It's scary. It is very scary. You've got to be scary. brave. You've got to be then, brave. What, what am I how, do you, how do you do the... Yeah, and then if you want to do that again, you can wrap that around just to make sure it's nice and secure. There we go. Look at that. Fabulous. Did it. All right, now you can straighten your petals out if you oh, want. They're, they're not even, right? Doesn't matter. Okay. It's nature. It's nature. The more okay, you do I'm... it, the, 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 um, the, the more even you'll get. It's one of those things, making the leaps like this, especially for flowers. I've done it. You've got to sit there and I've just done practice it. it. But I've yeah. done it. I'm very proud. It's fabulous. And then we're going to get And now this. you've got to grab that. And uh, add on. I've got one as well, so we can have two. There we go. I'll have one like that. Like that. I've done that. And then Where? we're just going to stick that on top and wrap your end around. Just any of the, the petal ah. things. I don't know if I've done it tight enough. The thing is, if it's not tight enough, have a, have a feel of this. Is it, how, how's it? it feels fine. I think that's all right. If you want to tighten it up a bit, you can grab the, 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 the flowery bit on top and wrap it around your some of the, um, the loops your, a bit more. Using your... And um, that tightens it. it. Oh, yeah, it does as well. See what I mean, yeah? And I, I know it is a, such a simple little thing, but when you do get it um, in a bunch, it, honestly, you'll see later on, we're going to make up a bunch. This is one for the oldies, but I feel yeah. a bit like Terry Wogan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blanky bank. Yeah. Blanky blank, indeed. Yeah, that's good. Are you still broadcasting? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't trust you. I don't trust any show that asks me back twice. <laughs> don't. I was against it. And look at this silly mind. I mean, really. I mean, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> So, there, okay. so that's our first hey, very I simple did a thing. Flower. There I did we go. A thing. You did a thing. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so that's, that's our, first, well. our first simple flower. Right, and nice and easy. Oh, you Look. just ignore the fact yeah, yeah. that I say it's the best one. It is the best one, yeah. Oh, well done. Well yeah, done. Yeah. Cool, thank it's, you. Uh, it's the biggest one. I can see, I can see why, why they would add. Yeah, well, already I've got three of them. Yeah. It's quite pretty, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Excellent. I've got those there. Um, let's move on now to our next one. And this is another fairly simple one. I, can't, I kind of call this a bit of a vote. Don't make me do that as well. No, no, you, otherwise you'll the show right. will go on for ages. You'll be all right, don't worry. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make another another uh, stem for this. And uh, same as before, you'll see how once you get used to these stems, you can see how quickly you can you can turn them out. Wow. That's it. Okay. Right, now this is, uh, it's kind of like, it's, I call it a very basic rose. Uh, a bit more like a bud again, uh, but it's using a 260 this time. Yeah. And I'm gonna take that knot there, and like we did with the round ones, I'm just gonna add it straight on to okay. the petals. All right. Like that. Nice and easy. Okay, I'm now gonna twist over a bubble. Now, uh, do you know that people, Twisters measure things in fingers. Yes. Yes. That's good. Uh, I usually go about four fingers ish. Okay. Ish. Yeah. It's nature. Doesn't matter too much. Okay. Somewhere around there. But right. it gives you consistency. Exactly. So it's Pe always four fingers yeah. for you. Yeah. People, people often say, to, but my fingers are smaller. Okay. Doesn't matter. As long as you keep using your same fingers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't go and exactly. use someone else's fingers. Yeah. If you keep using your same fingers, they're not going to change. You know, it keeps. Uh, do, you know, it, do you know Tony Robbins, the motivational speaker? Yes. I went to see him one time. Yeah. His fingers, he, they'd, they'd, they'd be about that wide. Would they? His hand, yeah. he was a giant. They'd massive be, hands. He high fived me, and my hand looked like a baby's hand. I'm going to have to look him up, look up look his at, hands. Look at the size. Yeah. Huge. Fascinating. It's good. Right, so there's one bubble. We're yeah. now going to make, there's going to be four bubbles exactly the same. They're all going to be the same size. So here comes bubble number two, like that. And yeah. uh, what I've done, I've just measured it against the first one. Just to just to make sure it's roughly the same size. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to join this uh, twist here in with the okay down there. And you do make it look very very easy. I've had a bit of practice. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the whole point about doing is practice. Yeah. That's yeah. that's very uh, I think is a really important thing. 
It's all about the practice. Next one, again, four finger bubble. I can measure it against the first two if I want. And uh, I'm going to perform a thing now called a roll through. Okay? A roll through. A roll through. Now, I'm going to... what I do is I hold the bubble here mm -hmm. so it runs along the join of the other, of yep. the other two. Yep. I'm going to pull these apart and push the, the new bubble through the gap. Got it. Rolling. Yeah, that's what on runs. the other two. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it says what it does on the tin. Yeah, uh, yeah. It does what it says on the tin. It, it, you're basically rolling it through you're the middle. Through, yeah. yeah, that's an easy. So we've now got three. Yep. All right, we're now going to come uh, down again. One more bubble. Make a twist, roughly the same size. Join it in. I'm just going to make sure it's really joined into the bottom there because we're going to break this off now. Like that. Get rid of the end. You didn't even tie a knot in that, you just twist it, it around. Just twist it around, make sure that, and that is another very simple. That's nice. Little, little flower. Again, super simple, but I think it adds, adds you know, it's, it's another one that you can add some variety in there. Uh, so what colors do you normally use for flowers? Does it matter? Because uh, I, it doesn't matter to me. I guess you could be going, you know, Willy Wonka-esque yes. and have yep. blues and yep. it depend, whatever. It totally depends on, on my mood yeah. or what the, what the uh, the uh, um, the job is? Yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, this week I've got to make one for a funeral. Okay. And is it, I want a vase of flowers, and it's got to have three pink flowers, two blue flowers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they've been very specific about yeah, it. Yeah, this yeah. is great. I love that. That's uh, quite unusual, isn't it? Yeah. For a yeah. Few, have you done many funerals? Yeah, I've done funerals. Yeah, yeah, I've done done a few funerals. So do people uh, have them instead uh, of flowers, or do yes. they? Yeah. I had really? to make a wristwatch once. Okay. To go on top of the the coffin, uh, massive thing it was, about this big. Chameleon, because the guy had a chameleon. Okay. Uh, that was a tear joke. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, all sorts of things I've done for funerals. So why do people do, do use balloons for funerals? Is it because they mean something to them, or is it I, just a, 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 an it artistic tends, yeah. way of... Uh, it depend, tends to be more um, non-flowery things. So okay. it tends to be like, it, like the guy who was into chameleons. Okay. That was the... That their, their option, you know, rather than get an expensive bouquet made in yeah, the shape yeah. of a chameleon, yeah. this is their option. So, yeah, yeah, I can understand it yeah, in that yeah, situation. Yeah. That's interesting with flowers. Yeah, yeah, but cool. I, I, flowers, it's, yeah, the, the funeral I'm doing is people I know, so they know I, yeah. I would do it for them. So, yeah, that's uh, really nice. So it's nice, yeah, yeah. So that's our very simple um, okay. uh, rosebud there. Two down. Now, we're going to use this to make a tulip now. Okay. This same idea to make a tulip, okay? Because it doesn't look like a tulip, but uh, it will. Yeah, it will, yeah. Now, the, the tulip is one of those flowers which I, I change so often. Uh, I come up with a new method, I'm like, uh, I'm not sure about that, I come up with a new method, and I, I do WIs. Okay. I do talks with WIs, and I'm always asking them, what, does, does that look like a tulip? <laughs> and, uh, mm, yeah, I'm not sure. This current one is the most simplest one ever, and yet it's the one they all go, that's a tulip. Yeah. I don't yeah. have to say what it is, oh yeah, that's a tulip. So. We'll, um, How did you get into the WI? How did you I, start doing that? I was asked once by a WI. They, they said, oh, would you do a talk on balloons? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So I put together this talk and I, um, I loved it so much. There were these 10 little old ladies watching me. It's in the middle of the country, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, that spurred me on to auditioning. Okay. So if you want to do WIs, you have to audition for them. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so I went and auditioned. <laughs> And on that day of auditioning, I took about 10 bookings. Wow. They were all, yeah, we need to book you. Uh, and so now I have this talk all about, uh, I talk about my history in balloons. Yeah. Uh, all the different things you can do with balloons. I do a little flower, a little flower display for them. I, I make uh, characters and things. And I talk about the environmentability of, you know, yeah, the, yeah, the environment yeah. and, and how uh, the, the, uh, the various different effects they have on the environment. Yeah. And, uh, and they all go home with a balloon at the end. That's cool. If there's not too many of them, you know. I, I do about, oh, a couple of months now. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. I've got one, that's amazing. Got one tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's so cool. Yeah, and that's fun. actually, you know, you talk about the environmental impact of balloons and mm. everybody thinks, you know, so many people think these are plastic. For exactly, instance. yes. This is the thing. So yeah. this is like a, a, an yeah, interesting yeah. way of I, getting the message out there. It's very educational. Yeah. I, I think it is. And, yeah, and yeah. I get... <laughs> don't want to blow me on top of it. I get rave reviews. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they all write these little reports in the in the WI magazine and things. It's, it's oh, fantastic. Quite, quite nice, yeah. Because yeah. it's something they've never seen before. Yeah, yeah. And it's colourful and fun. I love that. And normally they get someone talking about 
a, a second world war hero or yeah, yeah. the history of handkerchiefs or and you come in and talk about balloons, balloons yeah. Your bow tie on. yeah exactly excellent yeah. they're great fun they're great fun yeah so let's do this tulip uh let's go for a nice purple oh no we've done purple let's go for a nice pink one here we go uh try and try and get a nice range of colors there yeah yeah uh, same as before, this one. I'm going to join that straight on there like that. Yep. Nice and easy. Four finger bubble. Four finger bubble. This looks very familiar, doesn't it? Yep. And I'll straight back down. So that is exactly the same now as where we were with that one there. Yeah. This time, we're not going to do that roll through thing. Okay. We're just going to go up and down. But these bubbles are going to be longer. We're going to come up to here. I'm so glad you're not asking me to do these ones, to be honest. <laughs> a, few, a few fingers longer. So yeah. this one's going to be about six-ish fingers. Okay. A few fingers longer on there. And then we're going to make another bubble exactly the same. So there's two shorter bubbles, two longer bubbles. Yeah. Come into there. I'm going to secure this in place. Make sure it's not going to come undone. Get rid of that. Get rid of the end. And that, now that doesn't look anything like a tulip. You're right. This is the bit. We're going to put the small bubbles in between the big bubbles. Okay. Amazing. That's magic. Looks a bit like simple, a tulip. Simple, it? It, it? does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's amazing. It's simple, isn't it? Um, and I, I like that. That is I nice. like it. Just the simplicity of it yeah. appeals to me big yeah. time. You know, I've gone into, into having petals and all sorts of sticking out, when actually that's that's simple as that. You know what's interesting is that these things, the general public, anybody, the WI, whatever, they look at that and they, there's no way in a million years they'd figure out how to do it without being shown how to exactly. do it. Exactly, yeah. And it's, it's, that's the magic of balloons. I, I'm, really? I'm a huge fan of simplicity. Yeah. If I can break something down to as simple as possible and someone can go, oh yeah, that's a tulip. Yeah. That, that appeals to me. Perfect. If I, you know, the less work that can go into something, the better it is for me. Okay. Uh, so it's the Venus flytrap yeah. next, isn't yep, it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to get complicated now. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. This is this is going to be um, the complicated one. So we're going to make. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of flower this is. Okay. Um, I call it my star flower because it looks like a star. Okay. Do you think you could make a Venus flytrap? I don't mean today. <laughs> yeah. What's the most unusual thing you've ever been asked to make? Uh, I once got asked, not that long ago actually, the weirdest situation ever. Uh, not anything rude. No, please. no. Okay. A four, little four-year-old. Yeah. George Bush. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, yeah. I mean, it made my day. Senior, junior? Uh, that's I never asked. Actually. I just made a, like this little grey head man. They both look similar, don't they? So. Uh, well, old, old people. Yeah, yeah. You know, old, yeah. that, that's what a four-year-old would Yeah. That is hilarious. Have, I know. It must have been the original because he didn't say junior. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is hilarious. We, very weird. I, I get asked for weird things. Uh, sometimes an aphid once. Okay. Uh, the little girl wanted a ladybird, and the, the little sister wanted the aphid to go with it. Okay. Fine. Brilliant. Why not? Um, I'm just going to start this off. This is going to start looking like the the, the first blossom that we made. Okay. Uh, but I'm not going to put it together. So I've just got a blue. That's going to be the middle of our flower. Uh, where's my scissors? I like being tidy as you go. This I do. Oh, this very, I, very good. I like tidiness. I like tidiness. So we've got. Just as you throw one. I don't. Nobody needs to see uh, yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, now, there's a technique in the balloon twisting world called the string of pearls. Yeah. I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in another episode at some point, I should think. Um, we're going to make a string of pearls. Yeah. And we're going to turn that into a flower. Okay. Okay. Right now, the string of pearls is where you take your balloon and you make a row of bubbles. We've seen that a lot, a lot of people in the decoration a, community are yeah. doing it, putting them on number stacks. That's and right, like that. and they yeah. put them around foils and yeah, lots yeah. of things. It's a lovely technique. Yeah, um, we're going to use that technique to make the flower. Okay, um, and the, the thing to remember here is little big, little big, little big, little big. Oh, okay. okay. All right, so we're going to make a little bubble, big bubble, little bubble, big bubble. I figured that out. That's good. Yeah, little bubble, little bubble. Big, Big bubble. bubble. Now my little bubble is probably a fingerish. That is size. a tiny, teeny little yeah. bubble. Yeah, and the bigger one is two and a half ish. That's a one sixty. This is a one sixty. Okay. I was meant to say that. Yeah, you can. You might have done. I might have missed it. No, no, I didn't. I forgot. Okay. Uh, okay, it's so a one sixty. Yeah, one sixty. You can do it with a two sixty. I find it's just easier with one sixty. Okay. Uh, you you run out of balloon if you do it with a two sixty sometimes. Okay. 
Uh, I like the delicateness of the 160 yes. as well. Little bubble. Big bubble. Now your big bubbles have all got to be the same as each other. The little bubbles have got to be the same as each other. Lovely. So there we go, we've got this. Now when I've made my uh, second big bubble, I'm going to twist these together. Like that. Okay. That's one petal. Little bubble next. Big bubble. Little bubble. This is going to look really detailed, isn't it? Big I bubble. Can, it feel. does. Yeah. It does look detailed. Uh, I've done two bubbles now. Yeah. I can now twist those together. That is petal number two. Okay. How many are we going to do? We're going to do five petals. Five. So little bubble, big bubble, little bubble. Big bubble. It's one of those things again, practice this and you'll speed up. Uh, can you see how the petals are I can. slowly forming there? That is very nice. That's three bubbles. Yeah. Two to go. Little big, little big. You can see how you can speed up with it. So is this a known technique in the twisting world? Is this something is. that you all you've all done? It's it, not an original rob. No, it's not no, this is not me. This is this is Way before I existed. Okay, right. This is this is pre Rob. Uh, the, the, the the thing with balloon twisting is there's so much has been lost to history. Yeah. So uh, I recently saw someone say, "Oh yeah, I came up with this design," and yes, they probably did come up with the design. However, I know I've been making that thing way before. Yeah. yeah. Before they came up with it. Yeah. Yeah, they did come up with it. Brilliant. But I've no idea who actually came up with that technique. Yeah, first of all, yeah, it's yeah. like oh. You know, had a long conversation with this, uh, with a friend of mine. I've now got five. Okay. Five bubbles. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to join the original knot. Yeah. Where we put the air in to the base of the fifth, the fifth um, petal. Yeah. So that is going to join into here. Okay. Oh, it's just come undone for that. If it does come undone, don't panic. We can do them up again. So we end up with this situation like that. Okay. It, it will look like a complete mess. There we go. I didn't like to say. No. Look at it right there. Oh, so it actually looks nice. Can you see it looks like a yeah, star? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a star shape. Yeah. Uh, we can get rid of the, the rest of this. And I'm just going to tie these in a knot so it doesn't come undone. And get rid of any uh, bits. So we can keep it nice and tidy. So there is our star. Okay. Now we're going to take our, our blue, pass it through the middle there. I really like this one. It's really cool. Okay, so I just lost a couple of petals there, but we can do them back up, back up again. It's very nice. Delicate, isn't love it? Love it. Yeah, yeah. Delicate. Love that. It's a, it's a nice little, um, little delicate flower. And again, it's not something that people would People wouldn't know how you've created that. Yeah, they exactly. Look at yeah. It and, but yeah. yeah, unless you're it in looks the industry. It's quite wouldn't. complicated. Yeah. And, and yeah, actually, it's just a string of bubbles. These are great because the, these techniques, you don't have to be a twister. They're, they're no. relatively simple. No. Buy a bag of, of modeling whole, balloons, yeah. practice, and by the end of that bag, you'll be proficient exactly. to this. Exactly. It just takes a bag of balloons, and you could. I always say that when I do the six petal flower, which I'll show you in a minute, sit there with a bag of balloons, yeah. watching telly, yeah. making these things. Just and get the muscle by, memory. Get, yeah, by the end of the. It. End of the um, the bag, you will be you will be there with it. Yeah. Um, my my end there annoyed me, so I'm just getting rid of that. So yeah, so there we go. There's what I call a star flower. Okay. Just because it looks it looks a bit like a star. Um, so there we go. So let's do our last one. We've so got, we've got four we've got different four types now. So, so far. We're gonna... Fourth of all, let's do our last one, and it's the classic, the six petal flower. Okay. Now I see so many people make this flower different ways. Yeah. And personally, I think. It, 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 it needs to be made this way. Okay. All right. I, I'm very passionate about how I think this flower should be made. Uh, there's a method where you make six bubbles and you put it all together and then you draw in one big yeah, flower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And it could all go horribly wrong. It can all go horribly wrong. So that's not a technique you're I don't use. think, my opinion, and it's just my opinion, I think you need to abandon that method. Okay. <laughs> um, you heard it here yeah, first on yeah. TV. That's Rob Driscoll, upsetting the whole industry. I know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, the trouble with that method is, 
you can only make six petal flowers. Yeah. Whereas what if you want a seven petal or a five petal flower? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Yeah. Excellent. Um, I tend to blow my balloon up roughly halfway. This okay. is a 260. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to make, you remember how we made the, the stem? Those three little, exactly the same way. Okay. So I'm going to hold it in my left hand, and pull down. Yeah. So this is my petal here. Yeah. The more you do this, the more you'll understand how big your petal will be. Okay. Uh, if you want lots of petals, you make them slightly smaller. If you want big pet, you know, if you want five petals, say so you can make it smaller. Um, I think five petals is the bare minimum. Okay. If you only have four petals, it's a windmill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, five petals is a good one to aim for. I tend to aim for seven. So I'm going to go for there. Same again as I did before. I just okay. roll it around and tuck the knot through there. Now that is my guide. That is what I'm gonna do. It's roughly three fingers yeah. in size there. Yeah. Uh, same size as three fingers there. Uh, that is my guide for doing the rest of the petals. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this over and I'm gonna do a twist here. And I can now look at this and judge exactly. Yeah, they look about the same. Yeah. You know, if they're a bit smaller, I can undo it a bit. Squeeze some air out. Okay. If it's a bit big, then I can just move down a bit. That's a bit big. Well, yeah. yeah, and so on. I can, I can, I can adjust it, and then from here, I'm going straight into wrapping that around. Yeah. Like that. Of course, the more you do it, once again, the the, yeah. the more regular that will become. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And this, from now on, this movement will be the same one, the same movement over yeah. and over again. It's that same thing, and I actually did that a slightly different way there. I just remembered that. I didn't do that twist, did I? The nice. problem is that because I do this so often, I've eliminated one of those moves. Okay. All right, I, I, I've eliminated the twist here. So you just squeeze it and so then start going around. Instead, what I do is I go straight into that. Oh, all right, okay. Um, for the time being, I think everybody should make a twist and make sure they're the same size. Okay. And as you move forward and get better, you will, as you build your muscle memory, yeah, then you, you will naturally. get, and you will get to be able to judge petal sizes much quicker. Again, I'm going to judge that. Uh, yeah, that looks like mine. So, around here. let's talk about the balloons. What brand of balloons are you using here today? These ones, I've got a mixture actually. So, okay. I've got the mainly uh, Semtex. Okay, mainly Semtex. I, I, I'm very much a, a fan of any balloon. Yeah, because different balloons do different things for me. Yeah, some balloons. At Gemma, I find I like I like the hardcore, but then I, I get worn out using them because okay. they're, they're quite uh, hard so they're work. quite tough. But they last ages. Yeah, they're yeah. great, you know. Yeah. Uh, some of the colours on some brands I prefer, you know. So yeah. I, I prefer the uh, uh, I've forgotten what colour it is. Uh, the, this pink here. Yeah. Um, to the wild berry of Qualitex. I, I prefer that one. You yeah. Know? So some colours I prefer. Yeah. You know, so you've got friends. a mix of yeah. Qualitex, my, Gemma. My bag has four brands. Semptex. Okay. Uh, and uh, what's the fourth one? I've, I've mentioned Qualitex. I've mentioned Calisan. 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 Calisan has some amazing new, new, twisty balloons coming out. Yeah. So I've really? been trying them and yeah, great. Cool. I'm, I'm up to six petals so far. That is good. I'll, I'll, I can still go. I'm going to go. You're going to go seven. Going to go seven. It does get a little bit tight when we come around here for getting your your last one in, but as long as you can still judge it against yeah. another one. And then... I have seen the technique. I think somebody has been on before. I can't remember who did the whole six. And I know just who like, it is. Do you? Yeah. Who, who was it? Mark. Was Mark it? Joy, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And he's doing that, and I remember being like, <laughs> oh, you God. But did you see that the amount of pressure that went into there? It was nothing. It's yeah, yeah. Nothing. nothing. Really it's, it's, it's nice and soft. They're not tight. Uh, seven petals looks lovely because you don't get gaps uh, as big gaps in here it just looks to me looks really nice it does I think, look I think. Really nice. uh, I'm going to pop that there just to make sure that thing come undone now we need a middle do bit. you know what colour this is and which brand that is uh, it's one of the Sempertex pastel colours okay um, I can't pink, a pinky called. one yeah is it that's something like dusky pink or something. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know. I, I, I God, don't know by I names. Don't, I don't know what we sell. So People right. ask me names of balloons. I'm like, yeah, it's pink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the same. Uh, I'm just going to use a, a little bit of the end of a 260 there. Okay. And again, you can, I have a bag of scraps for doing this. Of course. Wrap that around there. 
make sure it's wrapped in because it's very uh, easy for the air to come out of there. So you've got to make sure it's nicely secured in there. So are you seeing more decorators using these sort of techniques? Yes. So it's not just twisters anymore, is and it? And I'm finding decorators are very much um, wanting to learn these techniques yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, I'm taking this on a part because I've run out of green balloons. So, so we're going to use the that same base. Did you was that yours? I just popped your balloon. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You can make another one. And this is why I don't do it. <laughs> I get no thanks yeah, or credit. It's like, get rid of the worst one. Your balloon, your blossom has now blossomed into this. Okay, all right, we'll you go see? with that. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and now in this case, as you can see, I put yeah, that on. on the front again. Yeah, so yeah. It's, a, it's a similar case to the, that one there. So, so there you go. That's so, lovely. That, yeah. that, that, they all look great. They're nice. And I can imagine I, putting them all together. Let's put them together, shall we? Yes. Uh, oh, we, there's more. We could do with something to put them in, couldn't we? Okay, what have we got? <gasps> a vase. Look at that. Uh, so I made this yesterday. Um, How many balloons are in that? <laughs> Is that just uh, one, two, I can six, tell eight? you, see, uh, one, yeah, just the one, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, twelve. Okay. Twelve balloons. Um, now, I'm gonna get rid of some ends here because they're too long. Uh, doesn't matter about the bottoms because we're not gonna see them. So let's uh, see, I've, all, I've got some balloons ready made here as well, which we're going to use, and some greenery, greenery as well, so. But well, no, no, nobody knows how to make this, and everybody will be looking no, at that thinking, you're right. oh, how do you make that? That's, how do people find out? How well, to how that? to make that would be an amazing thing to learn, wouldn't it? It would be good. It would be. And uh, this is, is anywhere where, people yes, can go to learn that? Yes, there is. This is where I get to talk about my, my new club. You've got a club? I've got a club I, I've been working on for, a while now. It's been in the back of my mind for about a year. Okay. Um, I call it the Bowtie Balloon Club. Okay. Oh, I like that name. For some reason. Yeah. I can't, 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 think, can't think what it is. Yeah, yeah. And it's basically a group you can join. Yeah. Um, for quite a small fee. We've discussed this. Quite a small fee. It will be on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you can join and I'm going to have tutorials. Uh, I'm aiming it towards decorators to start with yeah. um, and beginners. So I'm going to do the fundamentals of balloon twisting. I'm going to do all different types of flowers. I've yeah. already got 90 minutes worth of videos on there. Yeah. Um, teaching various things. Uh, we've got all these flowers. I've got these flowers. Yeah. Oh, wow. Which I call my, my lupins. Yeah, they definitely uh, look like lupins. We could do with another one of those. Oh, look, look at that. that. Isn't that. Isn't that amazing? I'll show you how you do that. That's great, love it. Uh, pop that in there. The thing to do now is to get this looking. Uh, we could do with a rose, couldn't we? Have we got a rose? We've got a proper rose there, you see that? That's beautiful, rose. very nice, yeah. Pop that in there, a bit of red. Um, so yeah, so I've got this, so it's, it's uh, it's, uh, I've been working hard on it, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to add content. So it's a monthly subscription. Time. Yep, I'm going to add content as we go. I'm going to have special uh, uh, tutorials in there, which will only be there for a month, uh, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll delete those. Until so you get in the yeah, next one, there's going to be so stuff on there. new content all the time. Yes, new content all the time. I'm going to keep adding to it. It's going to be one of those things which is going to grow. Yeah. Uh, and I'll say it's starting off directed towards decorators and beginners. However, it will eventually evolve into being suitable for all types of entertainers. Okay. Uh, that's, that's all balloon artists, I should say. Yeah. So this is, and it's, there's no sign up period or anything. Nope. You can come and go as, nope. as you like. Nope, that's so. right. You can, any if you want, you can sign up for one month, cancel your subscription, just see what, what's it, what it's like. Yeah. Uh, and just to, to see, you know. But it is, it, goes. it is going to be considerably cheaper than other subscription. Yes, um, it is. It is. Let's call them academies out yes, there. Yes, yes, um, academies, yeah. I like, I like the idea of calling it a club. Yeah, yeah. I, what I like is the, the friendliness of the word club. Yeah. I, academy, to me, sounds strict. Yeah. Strict. And I get, I get, I get why people use it. Uh, it sounds... This is nothing, no, yeah, no, no. No, no ill will meant my, to any academies here. This is my opinion again. Okay. <laughs> um, all power to people who have academies, that's great. I want mine to be a nice, friendly, chilled, uh, 
Orange Beer Club. That's what I want. Orange yeah. Beer Club. Fantastic. Yeah. So where do people go if they want to join your club? Uh, so if they go to my website, which is at www.magirob.co.uk, and it's there's my link tree, it would be the top link. So Magirob is magic rob, but without the C. Okay. Magirob. M-A-G-I-R-O-B. Spot on. Hey. Uh, yes, yeah, and it's the top link, Bowtie Balloon Club. Go there, okay. tells you all about it, tells you what you get, and... Uh, and you're just going to be adding to that? Yes, and, um, I, and, um, and it's, that's now my... My thing that I'm doing, I'm going to add to it a couple, few yeah, weekly, probably. I'll add a new video every week. And well, I wish you we'll all get... the best with that. I'm Thank sure you. it'll be a great success. Thank you very much. Well, that's fantastic. Love it. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. But you can and see. I, I'm, I'm guessing with these, you just twisted them and then that, they've that, got it. That is the spring, spring of poles. That's, uh, that's cool. Here. And you can see what I mean about these little round yeah, ones yeah. here. They, uh, they just add to variety, doesn't it? Yeah. I know they're yeah. simple, but it, it all adds in and makes a really nice bloom of flowers, a vase of flowers. Yeah, Rob, so, that, yeah. that is fantastic. Now, as a guest on BMTV, yep. you get to ask everybody the question of the week. Yep. Do you have a question of the week? Prepared? What's your favorite flower? Okay, what's your favorite flower? What? It's what? simple. Lupins, I love lupins. I like lupins. Oh, I love lupins, yeah. 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 So many people say roses, but I think yeah. for me it's lupins. Yeah. yeah. They're amazing flowers. Fantastic. Yeah, but I'd like to know so I can do a tutorial on it. That'd Good be, idea. That'd be, that's the reason okay, why. Okay, let's change the question then. Yep. What flower would you like Rob to make? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. That's great, Rob. Well, thank you so much thank you. for that. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. And hit the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Stay happy and stay positive. And from both myself and Rob, see you soon. Bye. Wave. Yeah.